just brush my teeth. Um, <clears throat> so living in the multiverse, um, it's like your family and friends um, graduating from high school and going to college. Here's the rude part. <laughs> Here's the rude part. The rude part is they never come visit and they never call you. <laughs> you would have to graduate to go visit them. <laughs> so it's very, they're very shy. They're very shy. It's okay. Um, so I don't know if, if people can hear, but <clears throat> it's like my mom in the living room never coming to talk to me. You see how rude that is. We're, we're living together, but you never come talk to me. It's very rude. But the thing is, they're very shy. They don't, they don't know that they're doing it. That's why um, you give them a pass. So I can easily go out there and just talk to her. Um, well, not living on Earth, but um, um, hypothetically speaking, you can literally just go over there and talk to them. They're not gone. <laughs> it's not like you die, you don't exist. Not like you graduate, right? A lot of these kids on Earth, they're like, oh, they, my siblings, my friends are graduating. I'll never see them again. It, it's like that. It's like, no, that's not how that works. Like, they're just over there. You just go talk to them. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, that's all the multiverse is. It's just it's just people. And once they graduate, they're just you know they're just in college, but um, they're just very rude about it. <laughs> they're so shy. They're so shy here. They're, they're very shy. So um, people of the earth, if you want something to do, get them to not be so shy. Get them to come visit you. Um, just be approachable, be friendly, um, because with shy people, even though, even though you present yourself as approachable and friendly, they see it as a wall, like you're not supposed to do that. No, you can, <laughs> you're just very shy and you have walls up. <laughs> Those are imaginary walls. They don't. They don't exist. Um, so there's nothing stopping the multiverse from coming in, at all. They're just so shy that they they create barriers that go, in their head that go. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. Like, like in, in when I was in grade school, I was talking to my sister Tao about this. There was the big kid side and and and. And the low kid side. When you're when you're younger, um, I think it was like fourth, fifth graders were the big kid side, and then third on down to first to kindergarten. Kindergarten, I think kindergarten. Kindergarten to um, third grade, you don't go over to the big kid side. So it's like that. You can. <laughs> You know, after school, you know, you can go over to the big kid side. Probably not just because the rules. Um, you can't go over there during school because, you know, students are present. But yeah, you can. You, you can visit your siblings over the big kid side. You can visit your friends over the big kid side. There's nothing stopping you. <laughs> so they have this mentality where, um, oh, you're not supposed to go to the big kid side. The multiverse. It's like, oh, we can't go over there. We can't go over there. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> They're so young. They're so young. They're like, we can't go over to the big kid side. <laughs> I can't do it with these kids. They're so funny. They're like, no, those are the big kids side. We can't go over there. <laughs> oh, 
it's just, they're just very cute and adorable. There's nothing threatening about them. They make mistakes because they're young. But yeah, that's their mentality. Uh, like, <laughs> they're, they're the little kids. <laughs> and you're not supposed to, or they're in college, or here's another, um, in high school, um, you know, seniors pick on the freshmen. You know, that same mentality. It's old, but the seniors don't befriend the freshmen, you know, so they're off in college, like, no, I don't talk to the high schoolers. I don't, <laughs> you know, like, they're too cool now. Like, I graduate, I'm too cool for you. <laughs> Me, I talk to all my siblings. I talk, uh, not not realistically, like not multiverse, but um, hypothetically, like I went to school with my sister, um, Tao. I I talked to her in school. <laughs> there, there was none of this. There's none of this. Oh, you talk to your sibling? She's younger than you. That's weird. There was none of that. Every time I saw my sister, I would hang out with her. So. I, I, I never had that that kind of weirdness when you're really shy. When you're really shy, you 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 think of a lot of weird stuff, like a lot of weird stuff. So they're just they're just they're just really shy. Um, um, if people of the earth can encourage them to not be so shy and just to come in, um, you know, there's a lot of them. They can talk amongst themselves and and decide to come in um, because in life there's there's no such thing as death we're, we're, we're too big um, so there's no soul it it comes from strings from string theory so that string is like magnets and when it latches onto an animal we're just it it form it, it mutates onto the animal body and then you you never die. You just never die. And the human body is just the perfect body to evolve in. It, if there was a, another body like an, a crocodile body that was better, it would literally just become that. But the ape body is just the best body. It just has a lot of sensory. Um, with just everything, just sex. Um, even though we need to educate ourselves. The brain, the brain can sense um, our five senses. It senses a lot and it helps the string. That's what, that's what um, my theory. Um, I don't, based on string theory, I kind of, I kind of landed on, we're probably strings. And then it, it's like, it's like magnets. It, it mag, it magnetizes to intelligent forms, intelligent masses. And it happens to be the ape. That's my theory. So your soul is just a string that just doesn't die. It doesn't, there's no way to, there's no way to, there's no way for a string to die. There's nothing threatening it. There's nothing that can threaten it. Um, that's my theory. I'm working on that theory. So yeah, um, it's just people. And if people on the earth can encourage them to not be so shy, um, they might, come in but if not um, you would have to decease from um, this reality and then you just you just see them outside just 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 like just like normal life just hanging out <laughs> they're they're either too shy they're probably too shy not too cool it's not cool to be rude to your siblings and family members right it's like it's like oh my grandparents passed away and, and you're so nice about it, right? You're so nice about it. You're like, I think about them every day. I pray every day. Right? I think about them every day and they never come visit and they never call. That's rude. 
Don't you think that's rude? That's rude. If you think about them all the time and they never come visit, and they can, that's rude. So there's this mentality that um, that the seniors don't talk to the high schoolers. Um, it's a old, it's a old paradigm. It's a, it's. Like you've seen it in the twenties. You see it. You've seen it in the eighteen hundreds. You see, it's very old, and they they just haven't grown. They just haven't grown out of it yet. They just haven't grown out of it yet. So if people of the earth can just be more friendly, be more approachable, and encourage them to come out and just play with us, play with the freshmen, because. To them, they're like, oh, we're old, we're old seniors, we're old college students. And now the freshmen are too cool. Right? These kids are getting cooler. They're too cool for us to hang out with them. And, and don't be that way. Um, I'm an older brother um, to my younger siblings. And I play with them all the time. You know? If they're in school, I, I embarrass them. All right? I, my sister, Tao, I would embarrass her in front of her friends. All the time, her friends know me. Like, oh, that's Tao's brother on campus. And it creates a, a fun community where, oh, you're, you're, I know your big brother, or I saw your big brother the other day, and like, oh, hey, Tao, Tao's brother. And it creates a community instead of, oh my gosh, don't talk to them, that's Tao's brother. Like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that hush hush where it's like, oh, don't talk. It's weird. That's old. Don't do that anymore. It, it needs to be a new generation that encourages a um, a community that talks to each other. So that's how I was at University of Pacific. Um, I would talk to my sister all the time. If I run into her or her friends, I would embarrass them. Like, hey, it's me. <laughs> I would do that all the time. I don't care. Um, Cause I like, I like a sense of community. I don't, I don't like isolation. So with the multiverse, they're creating isolation. Um, it's it's like seg segregation um, with the whites and the blacks. But it, it's not to that degree. It's it's like you know, seniors and freshmen. Ew, the freshmen. It's like it's like that. It's like ew, cooties. <laughs> it's very young. So it's like. Yo, know, they have cooties. You don't want to go over there. It's like that, and it's just, it's just not a mature approach. So, um, so yeah, I, I prefer a community where we talk to each other and and not isolate each other. That's what I prefer.